Seven things narcissists do when you ignore them. You try to make it work with the narcissist. You try to do everything their way. But nothing you did was ever good enough. No matter what you did, they always complained. So at some point, you get tired of dealing with the narcissist. You feel like nothing you do is going to change the situation. So you decide to stop talking to them. You walk away. When you ignore the narcissist, they will notice right away. They will notice that you are behaving differently. And there are seven things that they do when they realize that you are ignoring them. One, smear campaign. If you take your attention away from the narcissist, they will smear you. Even if you stop talking to them for just a short period of time. The narcissist will run to anyone who will listen. They will tell them horrible things about you. They will say that you're a liar or a cheater. They will try to make people think that you're crazy. They turn the tables on what actually happened between you and them so that it favours them. They do this to gain sympathy from other people. It gives them narcissistic supply. They will spread rumors and gossip. They can talk to other people about you for hours. They enjoy talking about other people's private lives. And they always manage to find people who also enjoy gossiping. They always manage to find people who believe what they're saying. These people are known as the flying monkeys and they will often come after you. They do the dirty work on behalf of the narcissist. Many of them are narcissistic, but some of them don't even know what they're doing. If they contact you, it's because the narcissist has told them to do that. And they have already been fed the false narrative by the narcissist. Some of them know exactly what they're doing, but others are not fully aware of how their behavior might be affecting you. They just want you to reach out to the narcissist. They want you to help or support them. The narcissist may even contact your friends and family. They will say horrible things about you. They will say that you've just abandoned them. Whenever you ignore the narcissist, they're always going to tell people that you're doing something wrong. They're not going to see it as though you need space. They're not going to see it as though it's an effect of their behavior. 
when the narcissist knows that you won't talk to them directly, they will enforce their flying monkeys or they will contact your family and friends. They don't care about your self-preservation. They don't care that you need time to yourself. All they care about is their own feelings and needs. So they will do whatever it takes to pull you back in, regardless of how it affects you. Two, they will look for new supply. When you ignore the narcissist, they will find someone else to listen to all of their problems. They will dump all of their negativity onto someone else. But their new supply may often be just as toxic as they are. So they may enjoy talking about you with a narcissist. They may enjoy the gossip. Or even if the new supply is a decent person, they may get a sense of reward from feeling like they are helping them. The narcissist will play the victim. They will give sob stories to the new supply. They will say things to make the new supply feel sorry for them. So that they want to help the narcissist. They want to fix them. The narcissist will then triangulate you with a new supply. They will do this to make you want to come back. They will do it to get a reaction out of you. They're just looking for a response. They're trying to bait you in. They're trying to entice you. Because they don't like it when you ignore them. They want your attention. They want you to talk to them. Free. Hoovering. If you don't fall for the bait, eventually the narcissist will be forced to hoover you. This could take a few weeks or a few months, but they will only hoover you if you don't fall for the bait. If you don't fall for their attempts to entice you. When they hoover you, it may be over the phone or through text. But if you've watched enough of my videos, you will have realized that there's nothing you can say to a narcissist. Your only option is to block them. Four. Stalking. If you don't respond to their Hoover attempts and you continue to ignore the narcissist, they will stalk you. Sometimes they won't even reach out to you. But they will be watching you on social media. They see you as their possession. They see it as though they own you. As though you belong to them. So they believe that they have the right to monitor you. They believe that they have the right to track your movements. Five. Apology. In some situations, they may even give you a fake apology. They may give you a fake epiphany. As though they finally realize what they did wrong. They will do anything to pull you back in. 
so that they can continue to abuse you. They may bring back the love bombing. They may use future faking. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. But it's never genuine or sincere. They don't care about anyone but themselves. Six. Rant and rave. They will shout and complain angrily and at length. Sometimes this will go on for hours. They have no control over their own emotions. They spend more time complaining about things than actually taking action because they can't get past their own thoughts and feelings. They will give you all of the reasons why you're a bad person and why they don't want you. They will call you a liar or a cheater. They will project their bad behaviour onto you. But what they're saying never makes any sense. Because if you were such a bad person, why wouldn't they just leave you alone? Narcissists cannot deal with rejection. If you ignore the narcissist, they will attack you. They will criticize you. They need to attempt to explain or justify your behavior. As though it's a component of your character. Rather than being an effect of something they did to you. They have to tell themselves that you're no good anyway. So it doesn't matter if you don't want them. Seven. They will ignore you. If all else fails, they will just ignore you. You won't hear from them again. They will find someone else who is more susceptible to their manipulation, someone who doesn't know what they're about. They will see you as a lost cause, someone who they can no longer manipulate, someone who is too smart. When you cause a narcissistic injury, they won't want anything to do with you anyway. They will give you the silent treatment. They will treat you with contempt. Once you injure their dignity and pride, they will never see you the same way after that. If you bruise their ego, they're not going to come back. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.